Hi everyone, today I'm gonna talk about commitment. So that was me more than a year ago trying to talk to a camera. I looked hilarious, I know. But you know what? I was browsing through my old footage the other day, I saw this and I was like, let's do this. And for those who are new here, and I'm sure you're new here, I want to say, hi. I hope that you are having a great day. I want to welcome you here to my channel. And you can call me my channel. worn that hairstyle since I was 10 to be completely honest with you. But is this video about some sort of commitment or singing? And now we can finally go to something that I call deep talk. Yes, I do have notes for that. And I might read. <gasps> We're usually stuck in certain fields for so long that we barely can remember how we started. And when you want to start something new, or have never tried before, it's hard to admit to yourself that you literally suck. And you're as though around those giants around you, and you want to quit. You're asking what's the point, right? You start doubting yourself. You want to find those answers to the questions. So you move abroad just to realize that you can't really run away from yourself. That all you need to listen to is not your surroundings, but yourself. It's you. Just sit down, breathe, and listen to what your heart speaks. You will soon understand that that voice inside of you is loud and it is also annoying and what I know for sure is that it will never shut up. It will always be there. Some of your goals and dreams stay the same, as though they've been engraved in you since your birth. Like, you still want to keep writing every single day? Or keep playing the piano? to live in a house one day so that you wouldn't annoy your neighbors anymore practicing at 10 p.m. just because this is the time when your creativity thrives and you're feeling the most inspired. <laughs> You realize that sometimes days, months, years, if not decades, pass by and you still want the same things.
the kind of person who likes to plan things out. But sometimes I see that I haven't accomplished something by the deadline and I ask myself why. There are usually just three answers. It's that I either choose not to do anything. For example, can you imagine a violin player who has never picked up a violin? Or I failed at taking action. Because I stumbled into something I've never encountered before and I eventually stopped. Had I only known that everything is figure outable and every single obstacle is here to teach me something. Or there's also this self-talk where for some reason you choose to keep those limiting beliefs, that fixed mindset which is holding you back. You want to become that person, but it's not gonna happen if you keep telling those lies to yourself. You need to let go of it. But on this journey, there's one thing to keep in mind. A story my dad once shared with me. There was once a student and a teacher. One day, the student asked his teacher, Professor, but you know so much. Is there something that you don't know? The teacher laughed slightly. He didn't say anything. Instead, he took a random stick and started drawing something in the sand. After he finished, he said, The inside of the circle is what I know. The outside is what I don't know. And each time the area grows, so does the circumference. Meaning, each time I get to know something new, I realize how much of the unknown is left. And it's a never-ending process. You have to adapt the mindset of a lifelong student if you want to keep getting better. And that includes doing the work not only when you feel inspired, but when you have to, regularly. It's a habit. And high chances are that you'll have to do it all by yourself. You might not have a teacher. And it's tough. You can barely notice your own mistakes. There are no deadlines. No one keeps you accountable. It's just you. And yet, you can do it by simply planning things out, executing, and reviewing. And the process will be easier said than done, I know. And at the end of the day, the goal is not being on top of the mountain, but the journey to it. It's good to remember to enjoy this journey of becoming someone better than who you were yesterday because it's something that you can't really take back. It's just something.